Hey, what's up everyone? Tim here from Everyday Tactical Vids. And today we're gonna to be looking at this, which is the latest from our Going Gear EDC Club. I was outside shooting this review, but it's just so windy that it just, there's so much extra noise on the camera. It's just kind of a hassle. So I thought, let's just uh, unbag this here in the car and see what they sent us. My EDC choice of the day is this right here. Spyderco Manix 2 and the steel is the CTS BD-1. Really great, love this knife. It's been a really, really solid performer for me for a while. FRN handles there with that multi-directional grip from Spyderco. So let's see what's inside the bag. All right, so here's the card. We have one, two, three, four different items. The first item is the Best Tech Knives Beluga. So let's uh, take this out here. So there's the box for the Beluga. I actually reached out to Best Tech a while ago about reviewing one of their Hornet knives, and they said they'd send one to me, but they never got around to it. So, not the end of the world, but um, they do have some pretty cool, pretty cool designs. Here's a look at the Beluga in D2 steel. Here are the details on the knife. You can see it is in D2 steel. I don't know if you can see that right up there. But D2 steel, it's 3.12 inches with G10 handles. It has ceramic ball bearings that give a great opening action that we're sure you're going to love. So I actually flicked my wrist when I open it, but I don't think we even need to. No, it's got a nice snap to it. And definitely a unique handle there. It's cool. Compact, let's just compare it to the Manix 2. So size-wise, on their line up on, the, line up on the bottom there. Manix is probably, I don't know, I mean, maybe half an inch longer or so. So, and then there's the uh, Best, Tech's, Best Tech logo there. So it's our first item that's valued at 52 bucks. So as is often the case with, you know, just one or two items in the, um, in the EDC uh, club, you're gonna be getting more value than what you're paying, but that's our first item. That's a cool little, cool little knife. I actually been rocking D2 um, steels for a bunch of my EDC knives. I have a, limited edition Benchmade Mini Barrage. It was from Cabela's with a black blade and orange handle. And that's in D2 steel, and that thing has kept an edge in an amazing, amazing way. So that's our first item. All right, our second item is this, which is a little flashlight. It's from a company called Rovi Vaughn. You can see it down there on the bottom. This is the Rovi Vaughn A5X, valued at $36.95. It says this micro USB rechargeable Glow-in-the-dark flashlight has up to 650 lumens and two additional side lights that are neutral white and ultraviolet. It also comes with a reversible pocket clip that allows for multiple uses and easy storage. So let's check this thing out. That's what it looks like in the, uh, in the package. I got the light out, but you can see it comes with the micro USB. It comes with the pocket clip, some instructions, and then also a split key ring so you can uh, attach it to that and carry it that way. So it's super compact, as you can see. So I messed around with it a little bit. So when you hold it down, it's gonna come on. When you let it go, it's gonna go off. Double click and it's gonna come on and then click and it's gonna cycle through. So that's your lowest, the next, your next, and then your highest, and then back to your lowest. And then hold it down, it's gonna go off. So we have the normal light and then we have this little side light that's built in. So we'll triple click, that'll come on. One, two, three. So it's low, high, red, and then red flashing, and then cycles back through hold it down and it goes off that's a cool little light I've been rocking uh, you can see my keys over here actually right there and I've got the I think it's the i3r EOS the tiny little uh, keychain flashlight from Olight but I've been thinking about swapping it out um, Nightcore's got one that I like and I think I'm actually rock this for a while and see how it goes it's very lightweight and the fact that it's glow in the dark is definitely cool as well so I'm not super familiar with this company Rovivon, but yeah, that's a cool little item. Again, valued at $36.95. Our next item is some jerky. It's from Think Jerky. This is grass-fed beef jerky. They're valuing this at three bucks. It says, Think Jerky only uses 100% grass-fed beef with no added hormones or antibiotics. Mr. Hirsch founded Think Jerky with the idea of taking beef jerky beyond just gas station food to health food. Yeah, it's cool. It says ingredients, grass-fed beef, um, tamari sauce, Cane sugar, sesame seed oil, ginger, sesame seeds, granulated garlic, orange peel, granulated onion, cayenne pepper, and then it says contain sesame and soy. So I like when they throw these little items in because it's not like they're, you know, adding a ton of cost 
to, you know, they're not saying, oh, this is a $10 item for something like this, but three extra bucks and you're getting a cool product and you're being, uh, basically, you're learning about new companies and products that are out there. So that's definitely a cool thing. And then the last item is valued at eight bucks. It's the CRKT adjustable paracord bracelet and bottle opener. I've actually got one of these. I'll show you that you do have some uh, going gear stickers. Um, so the back side right there is your bottle opener. It is a paracord bracelet and it's adjustable, which is cool. You got those little, see if you can see those. Yeah, those little hooks there so you can set it looser or tighter. And that's valued at eight bucks. So when it comes to everyday carry knives, for me, I'm becoming more and more selective just because I've had a chance to use a lot of different knives. So I'm really learning after testing a lot what I really, really like. Uh, 52 bucks for the best tech. I think some people are going to say that's a little bit high uh, for a cost. For a best tech, when you can spend 52 bucks and get something else, I do think best tech is trying to press into um, into the market more. So I, I appreciate what they're doing. I do like the G10 and the D2. I think that's nice to have on that uh, on that knife. The A5X flashlight, definitely I'm going to be swapping out the Olight and giving that a shot for a while. That's cool. It's got a lot of different features. The Jerky is low-cost item, but cool to have. And then the adjustable paracord bracelet, that's cool as well. Um, not a super expensive item, but it's always good to have a paracord bracelet on you, around you. You know, paracord available, accessible. I do like the fact that they put it in that black and red. I think that's kind of cool. Um, that's kind of the theme of my car as far as like the black interior and then the, uh, and then the uh, red exterior. So, yeah, I'll probably... I'll probably put it on my uh, mirror, you know, keep it in the car in some way. So I try to say this on a regular basis with unboxing, or in this case, unbagging reviews, but I don't go into a full review on all the items that would just take too long. But this is to let you know about the different types of products that are coming in the Going Gear EDC Club uh, monthly subscription. So I think value versus what you're paying, again, the cost is right around 60 or a little bit more or less, $60, let's say. Um, I think you're getting a really good value, especially this month. Um, as is always the case, you're, you're rolling the dice because somebody else is buying products for you. Um, but again, my, I feel like my job here is to let you know about the products, give you some quick thoughts, and then you can decide if you like the products and or if you want to subscribe to the Going Gear EDC Club. So I've got a link down below in the description section if you want to go over to Going Gear and learn more about the EDC Club. And um, overall, I think this is a good, a good month. Um, Last month was a wallet and like one other item. I definitely like getting a couple more items so I have some diversity. And I'll be interested to test it out, test out that um, Rovi Vaughn A5X flashlight. But right now, it looks pretty, uh, looks pretty intriguing. It looks like we've got some good function. And 650 lumens at the high of the output. That's pretty, uh, pretty impressive for that tiny little light. So let's hear your thoughts in the comment section. What do you think about this month's Going Gear EDC Club bag of goodies? All right, guys, thanks as always for checking out the videos here on YouTube. Please subscribe to Everyday Tactical Vids if you haven't done so already. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter. Check us on our Instagram, Tumblr, and Vero as well. More videos coming soon. Take care.